Welcome back to the relegation scrap. A three part series following Cambridge and their potential safety in League One. Nine points from MK Dons on Gaming 38. They were doomed, but fast forward till now, and it's all in their hands. Last time out, it was Accrington Stanley away. Fight, passion, and desire got them a 2 1 win relegating Accrington. And MK Dons bottling a 4 1 lead has left Cambridge with a huge chance. Oh, they scored! Oh, they scored! The table separates the two clubs by one point, but the key factor is this game in hand. A win would leapfrog MK and needing a win versus Forest Green on the final day. A draw or loss and it's in MK's hands, only needing a win to survive. From where this club were a month ago to where they are now, this would be one of the greatest escapes. Burton literally decide who are going down as they play MK Dons on the final day. However, a sell out 1,600 Cambridge fans in that away and will be crazy. Either way, it's going down to the final day and I will be there every step of the way. Really want Cambridge to win this game tonight for the relegation battle, for the storyline. But more importantly, I go to a lot of the Cambridge games because I know a few of the players. My mates support Cambridge. I just really want them to do well and stay in the division where they belong. And in the past, they've got a good record against Burton. There's been a lot of goals, but today I'm going to go for another 2 1 win. <laughs> I've never seen a train being towed by a van. Look what we have here. The Cambridge fan coaches. 1,600 sellout away end for this massive fixture. Touchdown inverted for the big game tonight. I don't need to describe this game anymore because you guys know how important it is. And this is the pub we're going to today, the Beach Inn. But look who's joining me. Hey, he said he was going Brackley or Bracknell or somewhere like that. And he turns out... And he believed it. I, I really did believe it. And he just surprised me at the McDonald's. And he's going to this game with us. Are they going to win? 2-1 Cambridge. 2-0. 2-0. Clean sheet. David, you got your score right on Saturday. What is it going to be today? So today, let's hope I'm right again. That's, okay. that's what we need. Uh, to keep the use up. I'm going 2-0 Cambridge. 1-0 win, mate. 1-0. I need a pre-match speech. This is the greatest of great escapes. We have nine points Totally agree. Yeah, yeah. But for, and we have nine games left. If we stay up, it's a miracle. But I, I agree. I think we'll do it. Very drunk on Saturday, I must say. But you're recovered? I'm right now. Content we all want to see. <laughs> I'm going to go 1-0 and a 3-2 Cambridge if it is a win. So you're just going to give me two different predictions then? Yeah. I think if we win today, we stay up. So I'm here with uh, Jack Beaton. Going to go 1-0 down, 2-0 down. Joey Ironside, last minute winner, 3-2. User staying up. I've been to every other away game apart from the ones we've won. Four. So what's we'll score today then? 2-1 Burton or? Yeah, we're probably going to lose. Luck has changed. We are in good form now. 2-1 Cambridge. Beating adult, Jack beating himself. Yeah, What's your prediction today? 1-0 uh, Cambridge, Sam Smith. <laughs> Nobody handles. <laughs> Kieran Sell. What is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Kieran is a different breed, I'm telling you. <laughs> I can't. I can't take him seriously sometimes. You're a special man, mate. That is my work, actually. I'm going 3-2 Cambridge. Yeah, Sam Smith Brace and Michael Morrison header. When you talk about match day clobber, look at this. On our way to the stadium now, everyone is out for this one. Everyone's confident, but in the back of their minds, they know it's going to be a difficult test. Against the Burton side, we're at home. They have not lost two times at home this season in a row. So today, ah! Oh! Go Kieran! It wouldn't be a Cambridge away though, that and battering is some sort of inflatable. The Pirelli Stadium, sunset in the distance. Cambridge are hoping for a good night tonight. They really need it. Here we go, last away game of the season. This is the view we have today at the Pirelli Stadium, right behind the goal with this terrace. Oh, 
you're off, joking. Off the line. Off the line. This could go any way this game. Not good. He's got a space here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hands behind it. For the table, it's not good. Losing this game would even bring Morecambe back into the mix of surviving. Uh, it's not good. We're one down, 13 minutes in, but this game could be going anyway. Burton, found his space, takes a shot. 1-0. That is half-time. 1-0 to Burton at a break. A lot better in the second half needed. They needed three points. Yeah, I said 2-1 before the game. We'll finish 2-1. It's happening. This ball end is going to go off. I hope you're right, right mate. More we'll needs to be done in the second half. We are playing so flat. Got it since the goal. The energy is exact from the players. Cambridge are out for the second half. Big, big 45. We can't lose this game. Yeah! Pen. The ref played advantage from not giving a pen, so I must say, Cambridge got away with them there. I thought he was going to go for Hello? Oh. Sam Smith. Oh. Off the line. Digby. No way. Oh, I'm off! Cross bar. Right. You can't write this. Got to be a good delivery. A lot of the fans on the side of the goal even said it crossed the line. You have to say, you have to say, sometimes you've got to just accept the fact. You've just watched one of the best saves there. You can't say anything else. Keeper has pulled off an absolutely well class save. That could be the save which could have relegated Cambridge. Six! I now see why Burton are really difficult to beat at home. The time wasting, honestly, the, the defensive and organisability they have is incredible. There's a Cambridge meltdown at the services. It's the hope which kills. It was all in their hands, the backing of a sellout away end. But Burton's dirty antics of time wasting and fake injuries just killed the game. On the final day, Cambridge need to win versus Forest Green and Morecambe and MK Dons to drop points. In my opinion, this is too much to ask, but in football, anything can happen.